Meticulous dance test of the Soweto Choir, complemented by that of the guests, set the tone for the reception that had all the, the qualities of the ceremony with the touch of beauty and excellence. Venue of the Grand Reception and the House of Benedio in South Africa was a sight to behold with the amazing set of decorations to suit purpose of the event. Guests from far and near attended the ceremony. They include senators from South Africa and Nigeria, Nigeria High Commissioner to South Africa, South Africa's High Commissioner to Nigeria, kings from across the globe, led by Soya Majesty Intuku the third king of Amalobi in the eastern province of Tebe, South Africa, and the King of Zulu, represented by his wife, and the Vice President of South Sudan. The atmosphere at the venue was electrified with various musical groups who entertained the guests. Hide their satisfaction at the rendition of a special song dedicated to the couple by Sister of the Bride, Amazing Bridio, to the admiration of the guests. Guests to the occasion, the chairman Justice Isaac Alui, former president, customary court of appeal, then the state, who congratulated the couple, said it was a thing of joy for him to reenact history. After over 40 years, he chaired a similar occasion when the Esama of Benin married his half show, Lady Cherry. He advised the couple to emulate their parents who have lived together for years and tolerate each other, as that is the only prerequisite for a successful marriage. To me, it's been a great day. A wonderful day and happy to be part of the event of the day because what I took part in getting this uh, money off in those days in the fight about 40 years ago and I find the other surprise is that we can now, can now see the, the one of the proceeds of that visit to Jamaica in the marriage of Uma and Orosa. In his remarks, 
Nigeria High Commissioner to South Africa, Adjulu Okeke, and South African High Commissioner to Nigeria, while congratulating the couple advised there to show bad influence as marriage is a blessing from God and success. They must trust each other. That's my advice. And they must not let each other down. If they hold the trust, everything else follows. Uh, the couple seems to be well uh, informed because they have indicated how much they love each other and they committed to be together forever and that they hope to be an example. Also speaking, Edith's brother of the bride and two-time governor of Edo State, Chief Loki in Osaka Ibenedio, enjoyed the couple to make their home happy by being good husband and wife. In the same vein, mother of the bride, Lady Cherry Ibenedio, mother of the groom, Aja Barista Zowera to Mans Patricia of the bride and member representative of their federal constituents in the House of Representatives, Barista Moshe de Ibenedio, all prayed for the success of the union. I was proud to say my sister Rosa is now Mrs. Omar Matu. <laughs> of course, we stand to try and follow a giant footstep, which I know is almost impossible. But we are trying, we are thriving, and we are praying to be able to emulate and follow the footsteps. Oh, I wish my daughter and my new son all the blessings that God can send from heaven. They are a wonderful couple and I wish them everything that is well. A lot is expected of Umar and Sadia. We will be there to support them. We keep on praying for them. But we advise them that they should be patient with each other and continue to share the love they have always shared. And like we said, with prayers, we'll be there to support them in every way we can. The marriage was um, what it ought to be, a marriage filled with love. Um, this is a couple that has been together for several years and it has culminated in today's event, um, which is the marriage ceremony. Um, I'm happy for my sister. She's a wonderful girl and I know that she's going to make a wonderful wife. My advice to the couple is that they should trust, they should learn to trust and depend on each other very heavily. A very successful marriage from a two wonderful family in Nigeria. We are indeed very grateful to God for being part of this ceremony. High points of the occasion was the cutting of the marriage cake by the couple. As I spell love, you cut. Can we have L? Can we have an O? A V? And an E? Congratulations. And right away, I think you may want to feed your husband. The couple express their feelings this way. I first want to start by saying we have to thank God Almighty because without God Almighty we would not even be here today. So thank God Almighty. I first want to start by thanking our parents. Please. Please, please, everybody, can we please give a standing ovation and a round of applause for our parents? Can you present that? Please, please, our parents, sit down. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's here from the bottom of my heart. My parents, you are everything. You are absolutely everything. I love you. My new parents, thank you so much for welcoming me into the Manchester family so graciously. I hope that our relationship will continue to grow with love, 
with trust, with appreciation, with honesty, with forgiveness, and with everything that I need in parents also. Thank you so much. Guests were treated to varieties of sumptuous meals, both African and intercontinental cuisines, including choice drinks. Although the interreligious wedding between Orobosa Sadia and Uma Mantu has come and gone, memories of the event will continue to linger for many years to come. A Fosa Wangwe reporting.